Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Rory Reed from RoryReedArt.com and today we have another piece that we're gonna go over that I wanted to show you guys. One of the recent pieces that I just uh, finished. Uh, it's gonna be another still life piece sort of in the same vein as the last one just to you know exercise my muscles as far as the still lifes go in preparation for the series that i mentioned uh previously that i wanted to accomplish the quick concept that i came up with in my mind was just to have a regular uh cup sort of like a teacup with a small cloud hanging over it and the evaporation or steam from the cup would of course go up into the cloud but i wanted to make it look like it was also raining from the cloud at the same time to um you know give sort of a cycle essence or a, a continuity of the steam going up and the rain coming down you know just wanted to portray that through the piece so that's the quick initial concept that i came up with didn't really do any planning for this one i sort of just wanted something to paint for uh, Twitch because I was live streaming that day uh, If you're not following me on Twitch by the way, go ahead and hit the follow button the link would be in the description and So this is just something that I quickly came up with before I started the stream and um, Decided to knock it out starting off as usual we have our patented <laughs> Our patented um, turquoise blue color that we use for the background keeping it a little bit darker on the left a little lighter on the right same thing we've been doing for um, pretty much all our pieces maybe but um kept it the same wanted to keep the same loose brushwork because I like that style now that's sort of what I'm into my focal point is gonna be um, fleshed out and a bit more refined and then everything else is gonna remain in a loose um, style or a loose brushwork so dropped a, a little purple dioxazine purple base there on the cloud for the shadow areas and just wanted to initially try to put a shadow on the on behind the cloud like a drop shadow kind of but decided against it because ended up you know looking kind of weird so ultimately we do remove that sort of drop shadow there and just keep the atmosphere sort of open um, behind the cloud itself it would have required a little bit more planning to sort of execute that so I just decided against it as I just wanted this to be a quick piece uh, total painting time on this I believe was maybe two and a half three hours so that was you know I just try to keep things simple basically going over everything now the background and a little bit of the foreground with a second layer of paint to smooth things out a bit just to make everything look a little bit more refined and now we're defining some of the edges of our cup there as I said this is going to be the focal point so dropping in some different values as well to indicate a little bit of form there and it's going over the red texture with more and more layers to get it nice and rendered touching the background again a little bit now smoothing things out a bit but not too much you can still see a lot of rough texture in the background and decided to leave it that way as well so it won't change much from where it is now going into the, uh, this year as well 2023 I did want to focus more on the concepts of the paintings when I began doing uh, painting professionally many years ago now I had a lot of pieces that had a lot of meaning and depth and then we sort of transitioned into a period where we're just trying to 
get better at painting itself so I did a lot of like portraits and um, landscape stuff to sort of learn different techniques and you know just exercise the muscle memory and now this year we're gonna go back to having a lot of conceptual pieces as well as um, our landscape pieces did I uh, wanted to start a landscape series of my local area here where I live in Tampa Florida so we have that on the agenda as well for this year currently working on a big 30 by 40 inch piece as well so landscape piece so that's gonna be on the chopping block next hopefully we get that finished this week or the next so now adding in some purple tones as well in the darker regions we're defining out the uh, mist slash rain a little bit more as well just using a tinted white color I'm tinted it a little bit with the background color the turquoise blue very very slightly though so that it's almost unnoticeable but it is tinted a little bit because we're gonna go over some of the more highlighted areas with um, the pure white in very select areas and now we're just defining out the cloud as well I'm dropping in some lighter values to you know make it nice and fluffy loving this um, mix as well with the purples to the turquoise blue green to the white And everything is moving along pretty nicely man trying to define out the shadows a little bit more as well didn't want to go too dark so we kept it um, the value range you know relatively in the middle because I think it worked well for this particular painting using a pointer brush now and going in with some of the wider values as well and this is sort of what you do you know just build it up over time so one of the benefits I like about um, acrylic paint is the quick drying time so that I can get my layers in you know you know relatively quickly as opposed to the oil paints that uh, if I wanted to paint in this kind of style would take a considerable amount of time for me I just love the layered look it and when you when you see the paintings in person with your own eyes there's sort of a depth to them that um, really stands out when you have like thin layer upon thin layer upon thin layer you know the camera really can't pick it up but um, when you see it in person it's uh, really nice effect gotten a lot of compliments um, from my pieces especially after they're um, varnished and stuff as well about the texture and the depth that um, you know people who see them in in person uh, admire going in with a pointer brush once again just defining that sort of rain mist cloud <laughs> falling from the uh, from the sky there last few highlights now and we're getting a bit closer to the end just smoothing some things out in the foreground just a little bit and once again keeping everything pretty loose just to add a bit more of a painterly feel to the overall piece and so this is the the stage of the painting where you know it's just mainly detailing there's not going to be a lot of major changes everything is where I need it to be and so we just smooth out or render out our piece or uh, focal point 
so that we can uh, you know bring that to the foreground and so this is where we ended up leaving it this piece is titled endlessness by rory reed art that's me uh store link below if you're interested in this piece and uh yeah let me guys let me know what you guys think about it in the uh, comment section below also follow me guy on uh, teespring at teespring.com slash store slash rory reed art got some logo tees and other goodies over there that you can check out and as well follow me on all social media like subscribe and turn on the notifications for the youtube channel follow me on instagram twitch and tiktok at tripler 999 and that's gonna be it for today man hope you guys have a great day hope you enjoyed the piece as well man give me some feedback below uh, until next time take it easy guys peace